What's up guys, this is Shaveen and in this video I will tell you guys how you can solve all the .dll problems on your Windows 10 or any Windows PC that you have. So before we begin with the video, just a quick note that this solution is meant to solve a majority of .dll problems but if your problem does not get solved by the solutions offered in this video then you can just comment down on this video or email us and we will make a special solution video for your problem. Now without further ado, let's begin with the video. So before actually offering you the solutions for this .dll problems, maybe there is a way that you can solve it without any software or downloading anything new. And that is, first you should restart your computer and check whether that fixes the problem. Also, you should check your recycle bin for any .dll files that you may have deleted accidentally and just right click on them and then click on restore to fix the problem. If none of these two things actually work, then I also suggest that you run a malware or a virus scan using an antivirus software because most of the times this problem occurs because of a virus or a malware in your computer. And finally, make sure that your drivers for your devices, for example, if this problem is occurring for a printer, then your printer drivers are up to date and also your Windows version is up to date. You can easily check your Windows update version by going on to the Windows search and then searching for Windows update and then click on Windows update settings and there you can check for updates. If there is a new update available for your Windows, make sure that you download it. Now let's move on to the specific solutions that might help your case with this issue. So the first thing that you can do is go to your Windows search and then search for command prompts and then right click on it and then click on run as administrator. After you run your command prompt as an administrator, I'll link these code down in the description below for you to check out. Just run all of these codes in order in which they are placed in the description below that is the DISM commands and the SFC scan now command. These commands do is they actually search your computer for any missing or corrupted files including the DLL files and then automatically download them from the internet. So after you have run the check health, scan health, restore health and SFC scan now commands then just restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem. If that still does not fix your DLL problem then we move on to the next step that is you go on your web browser and you can choose any web browser that you want and then I'll provide this link down in the description below as well. Basically, you have to download the DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer directly from Microsoft's website. So just go on the link in the description below or you can just search on Google for this DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer and then just select your language and click on download. After you download the software, then just run it and follow the instructions displayed on your screen until the installation is complete. Also. When you are installing, make sure that you do not select install the Bing bar. If you do not want this kind of bloatware on your computer and then just keep on clicking next. After the installation is complete, then just restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem. 
If this still does not fix your problem, then the third way and the last way I can suggest you to fix this problem is manually downloading the .dll files. One of the ways that you can manually download these .dll files is go to this website known as www.dll-files.com. I'll link this site down in the description below for you to check out. But make sure that you have an antivirus to scan all the .dll files that you download from this website as some of them might contain a malware. Most of them don't from my experience but just make sure that you have an antivirus installed on your computer. Then whichever DLL file you are missing, that is whichever file shows up as an error, just copy its name and then paste it onto the search bar. After that, you can just download these files for free. So just click on the file name, whichever one you want to download and then it will show you different versions of that file. So make sure that you download the correct architecture for your computer that is either 64 bit or 32 bit and you can check which version you have by going to start and then searching for control panel and then in control panel just click on systems and security and then system in system you can find which system type you have i have the 64 bit operating system so i will download the architecture for 64 and then just download the latest version for your architecture and finally after you download it then you just have to unzip and then paste the .dll file in your windows dictionary. Now in order to find your windows dictionary just scroll down on this web page itself and it will show you the steps of where you can actually paste the file on your system dictionary. So as you can see for windows 65, 68 and me you have to paste it in your c drive windows system folder and then for windows 10 as you can see you have to paste it in the c drives windows system 32 folder then just restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem if that still does not fix your problem then what you can do is just comment down below on this video or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys for this specific problem if this video helps you then consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video until then, bye.